It's often necessary in geometry or trigonometry problems to convert back and forth between decimal degrees and degrees, minutes, and seconds. Decimal degrees have the exact same relationship between fractions and decimals that you are used to. For example, 1 half equals 0.5, so 42 and a half degrees equals 42.5 degrees. Degrees, minutes, and seconds, as their names suggest, relate like the units of time. 60 minutes equals 1 degree, just like 60 minutes equals an hour. And 60 seconds are equal to 1 minute. Let's take a look at a couple of simple conversions that you can probably do in your head. 42 degrees and 30 minutes would be equal to 42.5 degrees since 30 minutes is 0.5 or 1 half of a degree. Similarly, 54 degrees and 15 minutes equals 54.25 degrees. We've just been dividing the number of minutes by 60 to do the calculation. We can also divide by 3600 to convert seconds. And of course, we could reverse the process and multiply by these numbers to go from decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Instead, let's take a look at how to do this on the calculator. In order to do calculations involving degrees on your Inspire, you'll first want to make sure the calculator is set to use degrees. Use the home button, go to calculator settings, and change from radians to degrees if necessary. After returning to a calculator screen, Access the Templates button to the right of the 9. Once in that menu, you should see a template that allows you to fill in degrees, minutes, and seconds. Here, 30 degrees, 30 minutes is converted to decimal degrees. You will need to press Control before Enter unless you want your answer as an improper fraction. It's no more difficult to add seconds to the conversion. Just fill in that part of the template and press Control Enter. To go from decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, seconds, first enter your angle in decimal degrees. There is no need to use the degrees symbol. Next, select the catalog button which looks like an open book. Press D to skip down quickly to the DMS function. It will convert your answer to degrees, minutes, and seconds. Now that you know how to use these features, it will be easy for you to do calculations involving degrees, minutes, seconds, decimal degrees, or both. Just remember that if the answer appears in decimal degrees, it is always easy to convert back with the DMS feature.